Hi guys, it's reaction time and we've got Sweet Freedom. So, this is a bit of a weird one, this. This song's called Wasted Time. So, I got sent this album, um, Sweet Freedom, but the album's called According to Jorgen Schlander. Jorgen Schlander is a, a keyboardist and guitarist in House of Shakira, the band House of Shakira. So, I got sent this album, oh my God, it must have been three months ago maybe more um from the record company and i didn't like the first song and like an idiot you know not a proper reviewer you know i should have my ass kicked for this just didn't like the opening track and it was the lead single as well um just didn't get on with it um so i sort of dismissed listening to it i know i should get a kick up the ass um but upon putting it on again um and get into the, I think I went through the first track and it improved from what I heard the first time. And an amazing second track, I thought, right, I've got to do a reaction. I'm going to have to do a reaction for this and it deserves it because reactions get more views as well. They do on my channel, people listen to reactions more and they do album reviews. So I thought, um, I've chosen a song. I'm hoping <laughs> I'm going to like it. So I've chosen, I stopped listening to the album. I thought, right, this, this I've got to do a reaction now. It sounds amazing really does so apart from and after finding out and ignoring them like an idiot like i am um the album also consists of stefan inkvist um on lead vocals from the amazing soraya sign um hakan nielsen on guitar jan lund on the bass hakan rangemo on the drums and of course jorgen schlander have already mentioned on the keys and the guitars from House of Shakira. This came out on 8th of, the 8th of July as well, the album. So it's been out for a couple of weeks. Or was that a week? A week and a little bit. Um, and the guilt is rushing over me already. So, uh, <laughs> but you know, I'm here to make it right. So this song, I don't know why I've chosen this one, but I had a quick flick through because I didn't want to listen to the tracks because I want to make it a proper reaction. This one caught me ear a little bit for a few seconds that I heard. I thought, let's, let's do this one. So sweet freedom and wasted time. Here we go.
Well, man, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. I love the sort of groove of it. Almost got a funk metal sort of feel or funk heavy rock feel. Reminded me a little bit when that guitar kicked in, first of all, of Extreme. Something like you'd hear on that, like that real thumping rhythm, but that really cool sort of funky, groovy guitar over the top of it. And those soaring vocals from Stefan Inkvist, man. He is an amazing singer. Just absolutely superb. I love it. It's different, isn't it? It's different. It gives you that groove. It's got that soul to it. And I think Stefan Inkvist's voice over this sort of soulful funky type song really like matches it perfectly it's a brilliant fit it's absolutely brilliant i love everything about it little keyboard touches it sounds um these guys are just top musicians i mean this just sounds amazing and also the the drum sound the production everything about the production but that drum sound sounds huge i mean that that snare just is a huge sounding snare it's brilliant the guilt is coming over me. It really is. What a fantastic song. And this just says to you, you, I've got to listen to the rest of the album now. I'm an idiot for, you know, just not latching onto something straight away and not giving it a chance. That's, I have a go at other people for that. So I'm an idiot, but here we go for the rest. I love this. Give me something a bit different, a bit funky, a bit, you know what I mean? Very groovy indeed. Love it indeed. Here we go. I mean, as well as being catchy, 
it was fucking interesting to listen to. It's almost a musician's song as well as being, you know, a catchy, ear-catching song. Just superb stuff. Loads of instrumental parts, like at the end there, leading out, that was quite a long instrumental part. Really cool rhythm to it. Almost gave me classic rock vibes in some of that as well. Almost like late 70s, maybe rainbow sort of vibes as well going over that. Almost reminded me of the um, of Eyes of the World a little bit from um, the Rainbow album, Down to Earth. Almost like the keyboard touches and stuff like that, that epic feel on some of it when it was leading out of the chorus, when he led out on that last line and you sort of had some keyboard sort of touches, Hammond organ a little bit on there. Classic rock, but brought into, you know, the now, if you like. Brilliant production, brilliant uh, musicianship all round and some amazing vocals by Stefan Inkvist, uh, you know, just, what I've heard from him this year on Soraya sign has just been amazing. Um, and, and he's just, his vocals is fantastic on this. So the guilt, I have the guilt on me now. Sweet freedom, wasted time. It's sort of gone off me a little bit now. I feel like I've let it go because I've done the reaction to this, but I'm straight on the album now. That is a real interesting listen. I'm, I can't wait to hear the rest. The album's out now. It's called Sweet Freedom. There's the band name. According to Jorgen Schlander, is the actual name of the album a bit of a strange one but um very cool i don't know if it's like a um concept or something it almost feels like it's a concept i don't know why i'm looking at the album cover i'm listening to the two songs i've heard so far i don't know but what a great song that was let me know what you think guys and i'll see you soon